I want to show you the things that I found while thrifting and vintage shopping in Paris. I spent an entire day walking around Paris, hitting up vintage stores, thrift stores, you name it. I think I hit 25,000 steps that day. It was a day. If you are a secondhand shopper who loves a good hunt, then I definitely recommend Free Pea Star. They do have a few different locations across Paris, so you can find one that's closest to you and hopefully you can find a few gems. Now I didn't get as much stuff in Paris, but I feel the things that I got, I'm just like, mm, I, I just love them. Oh, I forgot to pull out one of the pieces that was um, tucked away in my closet, this one. So, Maximus. How cute is this? This is like that houndstooth sort of print, black and white. It was giving me major Chanel vibes. I loved the buttons. Oof so cute. I've worn it both opened and closed up. This is one that I found at Free Pea Star. They have quite a few locations across Paris and I went to four, four different Free Pea Stars and I had zero luck until I hit up the last one. And at the last one I found two cardigan sweaters that I really liked, this being one of them. It's kind of one of those places that can be very hit or miss because, well, first of all, it's kind of like just chaos inside. Um, they were very busy and they also have those big bins. So there's lots of people just rooting through bins and stuff like that. So if that's not your style of secondhand shopping, maybe you wouldn't like Free Piece Star as much, but I don't know, I love a good hunt and uh, I'm really happy with the one, the pieces that I did find. This is the other sweater that I found at Free Piece Star and I just, it looks a lot more red on camera than it is. It's more of like a maroon color in person, but it's so cute. It's just really, really thick, chunky, oversized, really long sleeves, which I like. I just love feeling very cozy in the winter time. And uh, yeah, I fell in love with this one when I found it. And I think I hit the jackpot at that last uh, free piece star because I'm very happy with um, the sweaters that I got there. I have to say, I think Hippie Market was my favorite secondhand store in Paris. They have a couple locations as well. I just loved how everything was organized, um, made things quite easy to look around, and I found a lot of really great pieces there. They have another store called Hippie Market, which they also have a few uh, locations, I believe. This was the first store that I went to on my thrifting excursion in Paris, and I did quite well there. And I was like, oh no, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the day where I find so much stuff. But honestly, I didn't find much after hitting up that store and then I hit the, when, when I hit the final free piece star. <laughs> but I found these really, really cute, uh, wide leg, really, really wide leg, flowy, cinched in at the waist, just below the knee style pants, which are very, very much up my alley so really happy with those then i found this just love a good classic button up and i feel like when you find one that's really nice quality that fits you to a t like exactly how you want it to fit you you can't pass it up and i really like this color i love the collar on it couldn't pass that up loved that that was also from hippie market so that was first thing first first thing in the morning then I found another thing that was on my list of things I was hoping I could find which was a pair of cowboy boots so I found these at that hippie market too and I thought these were perfect you know when you're like secondhand shopping and you're on the hunt for shoes but it's so difficult because they have to be in your size these were in my size and I kind of just glanced and saw them while I was on my way out and I was like oh <laughs> and lucky for me they were in my size and I just think they're really really cute more of that lower block heel which is perfect super comfortable um, 
And yeah, I really, really liked those. A shacket, just like a thicker black. It's almost like a corduroy. I love these and this is something I will get a ton of wear out of just, you know, with our fickle weather in Canada and something I can layer on in the fall or in the spring or even in the winter with uh, things underneath. Already have worn this quite a bit, which is great. This jacket, I can't even begin to describe how much I love this jacket and it almost stopped me in my tracks when I saw this. I mean, how gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? Another thing I really loved and it was the, um, the button closure down here. It has sort of like a chain that you close it with. It's velvety and then it has all of these gold this gold floral print embroidered into it. And yeah, I just, I, I love this so much. I think this is probably, dare I say it, my favorite find out of my entire thrifting experience in both London and Paris. This was the last store that I went in in Paris and I found this gorgeous, you can see the print on there. This is a YSL dress. I am obsessed with the pockets in the front. This is one of those ones that I could wear all year long because it sort of has like that vibe. So cute with tights and boots. Um, style it up with gold jewelry. Yeah, I, I am obsessed. I want to mention a few stores where I didn't get anything, but I thought they were great stores nonetheless. The first being Kilowatch. This one has um, new clothes as well as they have a section for vintage clothing. So you can kind of browse through both. I spent some time in here. I did try a few things on, but ultimately um, didn't find anything that was for me that day. Another store worth checking out is Kilo Shop and this one is kind of cool because you actually pay for whatever you find by the weight of it so you can sort of load up on a whole bunch of different things and know that it's going to be a set price based on weight. Um, this is another store where I spent some time, I tried on a few things but ultimately nothing that fit me quite how I wanted to and didn't have any luck but it was a great store, really well organized um, and I had a lot of fun poking around in here. Oh, and I also spotted a little hometown gem, which I thought was kind of funny. So those were all my secondhand finds from Paris. I hope you liked this video and let me know which your favorite piece was and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.